Hello and welcome back to the room. We're at the third puzzle box and after the last episode we opened up this interesting compartment. So let's see what we can do up here. Now we can slide these bits around. I guess... ah! Oh, it's tiny mirrors apparently. And we need to refract some kind of laser. And the question is... Uh, what are we trying to achieve? Because we can't turn these guys, I think. Oh, it's two lasers for each slide. Fair enough. Or two mirrors for each slide. Ooh, that looks complicated. And I just solved it. Fair enough. And we go up here. We activated the si Ooh, it's an astral map. With Orion. And the other one I don't particularly remember from Aurora Nights. It's an oddly shaped piece of map part of South America. Well, we know where that needs to go. Maybe this needs to be on the other side of the globe. We'll check that out in a bit. So it's some kind of projector for an astral map. And it looks really nice. So let's put this thing into place. And that's the first bit that turns. And now we can turn this around. Oh, there's more than... There's four bits even. So I wonder what is situated on the locations of the missing pieces. So here we are at the east side or west side of South America. Around Hawaii I would say. Although that's more around here. I'm not really sure. It's a bit of a weird map. And here we are about the Caribbeans and Guiana, which used to be French, at least French occupation. And we still are missing a piece of Ethiopia and Egypt and a bit of India and Bhutan, I would say. Now, whereabouts would these pieces be? We got some kind of sling? Sling. Some kind of powering mechanism, so let's see where we can fit that into. Our key we can't use anymore. Thanks, I think it needs to go in here. Doesn't it? Yeah, there we go, I just missed aim. Let's turn this around. Spin me right round. Like a record player. And we are looking into the some kind of street. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Now we need to form the hexagonal cliff again. And maybe we can we can turn this bit round. So let's see if we can do this properly. Let's line this up. There we are. And we have a button! A button! What a surprise. Let's push it. Push it to the limit. An intricate wooden box. Very intricate. Too intricate for my liking. So let's solve this. Now the question is... Can we open this up, or do we need to place it into somewhere? Ah. Ooh. Well, my butterfingers apparently opened it up from this side, and it is a kind of star. Now, I know that I've seen a star on the globe, but I don't think that's the proper application for this. No. Well, that's fair enough. Can I just, can I? No, I can't undo this. 
So we need to look for a place at which we can fit a star and it's not on the globe. Ah! This looks about right. Opens up this compartment with some kind of telescope. Alright, let's uh, see if we can... Right. So this is some kind of star sign. Now the question is... Is this the only thing that's to be seen, or can we look through this? No, that's the only thing to be seen, alright. Fair enough. Now, the real question is... What do we have to do now? Because we know there is a star sign up there. We should focus on the sides of the box. Well, we we had nearly all sides. Can we move this about? No. We can't look through the other side of the telescope either. And we still can't push the other button here? No. Is it to be seen on the sides here? Well, I... Assume that the telescope is looking at that, so I don't think so. Oh, hold on. The swan. It's wrong, apparently. Hold on, let's take another look. So, top left to bottom. So, it's an angle over here. So it's... Ah, uh, okay. Well, I should be able to remember that. So, I at least found a use for this thing. Let's... There we go. Thumbs up this bit, we get another piece of the map. And another diary entry. We're into August now. August 9th. The circle were right all along. How can I have been so blind? I have discovered a passage in a scriptus nocti, which is writings of the night, an incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have a source. Well, I have such a source. This night I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, prince of accusers and inquisitors. And he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null element can be mine. I can barely contain myself. There is so much to prepare. Alright. That sounds rather ominous. You shouldn't mess with gods from ancient times. Let's put this into place and we have our third section. So that's the uh, Egypt and Ethiopia area. Now we are missing one more. And I wonder which panel would lead us would lead us to victory, if you can call it a victory. These might have opened up and closed again, I can't remember. This is where you put in the crystal. Alright, so I think we need to do something on the top now. I don't have a flippin' clue. Right, so after a lot of looking around, I still don't know what to do, but the only thing we still can do something with is this bit. So, this is active fail because we found a brass key. If we push it, some kind of timer goes running. I want to press the other one though. Let's see, maybe we can do this another time. I wonder what happens. What?
Didn't we do the right one already? That's why it was activated, wasn't it? I... I'm so confused right now. <laughs> we did the right one already. I'm absolutely sure of that. If we didn't, then I'm just lame. Alright, so we got the uh, starship piece of map, which is apparently Tibet. And let's put it into its place, so we have completed the globe. Last bit turns around, and... Some kind of handle drops out of the upper thing. So let's go, can we? We can pull this. And the table opens up. Well, that's unexpected. What is this? Some kind of map of the solar system? Ah, we've completed the chapter. Well, uh, thanks for watching and next time we will start chapter 4. The last chapter and possibly also the last puzzle box of the room. Thanks for watching and see you next time.